supposed to be a series of um, just slightly different ways that you can alter your thinking or your mindset to just feel much more positive and feel much more at home in the world. So today I'm talking to you about why I love transcendentalism so much and a few ways that you can really um, kind of apply it to your own life. So um, I never really go into a full definition or explanation of every single philosophy because that would take way too long. But again, I will just go into a brief summary so that the rest of this video makes sense. The idea of transcendentalism is basically that um, spirituality and God and nature and humans are all one. And so we kind of live and share in this oneness and because we're all kind of on this same plane of equality and that there's no like general hierarchy or anything that we can then celebrate our differences and celebrate what is unique to us. Emerson wrote an essay called Self-Reliance and that he talks about how important it is for us to be reliant on ourselves to not you know, just kind of follow the path that's necessarily been let out for us. Self Reliance also goes a little step further to talk about how we can rely on our own ideas and our own intuitions rather than focusing on what everyone else is saying, uh, saying around us and what um, kind of the norms of society are. There's three specific reasons why I just love this school of thought so much. And the first one is because it promotes the idea of having um, creativity just kind of free flow and it promotes the idea of that being a way of life in itself. You know, ideas will come and go and you don't have to define yourself and every single thing that you create doesn't have to be a complete replica and a sim symbol of your entire identity. Instead, it's just something that we do. We just create and we take in and we inspire and it's just this give and take relationship that should be carried out throughout our entire lives and I think that our relation relationship with creativity is an amazing insight into ourselves and it's just a great way to interact with the world and to feel like you're part of something bigger than yourself. So again, another idea of transcendentalism is very much on following your own intuition and following your own path and not having to rely on societal norms to di dictate or predetermine what you are doing. And it's interesting because it actually talks about how predetermined things are unnatural. Like, thing nature doesn't predetermine creatures or whatever and I mean you can have contradicting ideas around that but that is what transcendentalism says you're not bound to any specific role in the world you're not bound to any specific label you're so much more than that and you are as complex as you want to be it's okay to have layers it's okay to have different sides of you and that's what um I love about kind of fluidity labelless idea that's going on in transcendentalism um, and the third and final reason why I love it so much is that it promotes a growth mindset. You may have heard of the idea of a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset, and basically a growth mindset says that, you know, you have the potential to grow, you look at a mistake and you move on from it and you realize what you can learn and you don't shame yourself for that. And a fixed mindset, on the other hand, would say, like, I... I am that bad thing that I did. I am that mistake that I made. And you internalize that. And Brene Brown talks a lot about this and about um, kind of the role of shame and, and vulnerability. And like some parents will say, you are a liar. Instead of saying, you lied, you made a mistake. That's something that we don't do. So how are you going to control that next time? And I'm definitely not a parent. I'm not here to give parenting advice at all. Um, but that was a really interesting way that she put it because I think a lot of us have the experience of internalizing a mistake that we made or internalizing something bad that we did. Focusing on this concept of um, fluidity and the fact that nature is always evolving, that humans are always changing, like we are expected to change. And so in transcendentalism, that entire change and that process of evolution is completely embraced as like a natural human cycle instead of saying, oh, you're you're confined to this one box and if you leave it, like you're veering off path, like you're doing something wrong. Um, instead, it kind of celebrates that and it wants us to figure out what's different about us. Being accepting of change and allowing yourself to not fixate on something, but instead to grow from it and to evolve into a deeper, more um, thoughtful and more conscious person is a huge realization. Um, so these are all things that I find within transcendentalism that have helped me and I really hope that this that there was some part of this video that you could take along with you um, and apply it to your own life to just kind of feel more positive and feel more accepting of yourself um, 
and to not be so down on yourself. So if you want to see more content like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I've actually created an email address, so if you want to share your story um, and you don't want to leave it in the comments below, that is absolutely fine. I would still love to hear from you, and I will also include that in the description below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much again for your support. I really appreciate it, and I can't wait to see you next week. Bye!